Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, we made it quite a ways through the Team Galactic headquarters and found out that they're planning something huge at Team er, Mount Coronet, something involving a new complete world. And in this part, we're hopefully going to be, uh, bleh. We're hopefully going to be going through the rest of the headquarters, and there's a double battle here. Here. So I'm going to use my advantages with having Surf here. Not really. Battles here are pretty easy. That speech kind of freaked me out. And apparently... Defeating me in a battle makes them get promoted. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Go and surf these guys. Alright, Stunky's down, and so is Krogunk. Napoleon did all the work in that battle. Oh, there's more to it. Never mind. Well, that was easy. Oh, hey, Ivy can actually attack. Go ahead. Well, actually... Eh, I'll just Magical Leaf, why not? Eh, probably could've used Aqua Jet there, but oh well. I can just heal up Ivy afterwards. Yeah, that voice thing just... I thought it was gonna be my real voice, but it isn't. Because I'm actually having to try to keep up that voice now, so... I figured if I have to try to keep up that voice, then it's not really my voice. Over here we have a protein, and there's actually a hidden item on the other side of these. And there's the phone again! Fuck toll-free calls. Seriously. Anyway, this teleporter here will get us to the other side of those crates. Go and pick up the hidden item first. Guess we need to be here. An elixir, that'll come in handy, I guess. I always say that for ethers and elixirs, but I never use them. Which you think you would, but you just don't. Anyway, up the stairs we go. Oh, shit. I didn't think we were this far yet. Um... Trying to remember what he's... I guess we'll start out with Frieza. Shit. Here we are, facing Cyrus. Again. And he did know we were there, shit. Huh? Well, you're a dick. What about him? Like I said, what about them? I've realized that they're useless, but what... whatever. Well, yeah. Okay. Specimen? Am I an experiment to you? Not really. What point does that have, though? Okay, apparently Cyrus doesn't have any emotions whatsoever. That's good to know. And he starts out with a... Ah, I knew I should have started out with... Oh, whatever. Starts out with a Sneasel. At least Charlie's evolved now. Well, fuck it, let's just go out to Luke. 
Luke can handle it, no problem. I don't think Sneasel has a single attack that can hit Lucario even neutrally. Which is sad, really. Are you serious? Wow! First turn, freeze! Wow. Do I have any freeze heals? Or whatever they're called? I have an Asper Berry, I guess. Use that up. First attack of the battle, and I get frozen. That's just my luck. Anyway, I would hope Lucario would be able to outspeed Sneasel here. And it doesn't. Great. Um, uh, please lit. Crit, yep. Fucking crit! Wow. Why do Sneasels always give me so much trouble? I don't get it. Alright, Charlie, you try it then. Okay, I'm hoping that with that power boost Charlie got, it should be able to Oko Sneasel. Cured being hope. Seriously, why do Sneasels give me so much trouble in this game? I don't get it. I, half my team, two of my. God damn it, phone! That phone is not helping at all right now. Burn it, burn it, fuck. He's probably gonna score a crit here, knowing my luck. Or not. Finally got that stupid Sneasel out of the way. Fuck. And Crobat. Uh, let's go out to Frieza. Seemed to be able to hold its own against Golbats pretty well. Probably has Bite or Crunch or something, though. Uh, let's Shockwave it. Oh, come on! That has 55% accuracy! That's bullshit that it hit it right away. I didn't hit myself that time. I doubt this will go. Yeah, and that's that's one thing I don't get. His Golbat evolved into Crobat, but in order to do that, you need to have a close bond with your Pokemon, and Cyrus is apparently supposed to have no emotions whatsoever, so I don't really get how that works. But whatever. Crobat's a pain in the ass to deal with. Unlike Golbat, because it's actually somewhat of a threat. Being as fast as it is, what is it, like, base 120 speed? Yeah, that's nothing to mess with. Punch Crow! Um, Let's go Napoleon! Because unless this thing has superpower, which... I'm, I don't even remember for sure if Punch Crow can even learn that, but... Yeah. My last Pokemon, and it's strongest, no less. And, conveniently enough, like I mentioned in the last episode, Cyrus must have picked up a Dusk Stone right outside of his own headquarters to evolve his Murkrow. Uh, let's go and use Peck so he doesn't heal it up. Okay, that's doing 46 damage, so I'm gonna have to heal up this turn. Ah, fuck, I forgot about that stupid Citrus Berry again. Damn it. Oh, well, at least I have my own healing items to abuse. Yeah, this battle with Cyrus can actually be pretty challenging, and this isn't even close to the last time you'll see him either. And honestly, I didn't want Quick Claw to activate there, whatever. Okay. Hopefully that isn't low enough for him to heal it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, this'll for sure knock it out then, because I'll be knocked into Torrent range with one hit point left.
And down goes Honchkro and Cyrus with it. Again. Curious. Not the word I'd use. You just said yourself that was my power, now you're calling it an illusion? Wow. He's actually referencing death in a Pokemon game, that's pretty surprising. And... Um... Thanks? He just gave us a Master Ball! Okay! Uh, hypocrite? You just used three Pokemon in a battle! Okay... Um, anyway... We can use that to... Actually, I don't remember what that teleporter's used for. Anyway, let's go ahead and heal up here, because there is actually another battle after that. So that kind of sucks. Just battled the Team Galactic boss, and now we have another battle right after it. Because, like Cyrus said, not everyone... Not even his own team knows what he's really up to, so... May not exactly agree with him wanting to let the Pokémon go, and... Oh, that's where it went, okay. So I guess we have to go into this teleporter then. And random item is random. We got our full restore, but this place has creepy sound effects playing. Ugh. And even Team Galactic starting to regret what they're doing. Oh boy. This doesn't sound good. Yuxi. Mesper. Azelf. They're all here. And there's Saturn and Charon. So yeah, we get our rematch against Saturn after all, even though it was very recent that we just battled him. Go ahead and just shockwave his Golbat, that alone should be enough to KO it. And that bite did a lot more than it should have. And I am using Moo Moo Milks like crazy, man. Okay. Golbat, you're starting to piss me off. Even more than that Crowbat did. Damn it, Frieza! I'm tempted to use that Volver Store already. Don't hit yourself! You fuck! Okay, if you. If I have to use. Another Moo Moo Milk on you, I'm just letting you die in this battle. Because this is ridiculous. I haven't even gotten to attack! Come on, Frieza! Thank you! Rock! I thought Crobat was annoying. And that didn't even Oko, what the fuck. At least I get Shell Bell recovery out of it. So now I can at least live another turn of fighting and hitting myself. Oh, come on! I fucking hate that about confusion. It always makes the human player hit himself. The NPC never hits themselves. It pisses me off to no extent. And now you're just fucking mocking me by going for that air cutter. 
You're on your own at this point, Frieza. You flinched. Finally! Fuck! Ah, first it was Sneasel, now it's Goldat. What's next? Fucking Beautifly, like in Diamond and Pearl? Anyway, that's his first Pokemon out of the way after four minutes of hitting ourselves and flinching. Oh, fuck. Bronzor? You're not what I wanted to see right now. Goldat was annoying enough, let alone fucking Bronzor. Fire Blast. Please don't have Heat Proof. That's the last thing I need right now. Okay, good. I don't care if that crit mattered, it's fucking dead. And Toxicroak. Wish I had a Psychic move right about now. Let's try Stereo Hearts. Since it has pretty much the only super effective move I have on this thing. Go ahead and Air Slash. Hopefully this Poison Jab doesn't do too much. And hopefully this Air Slash I'll be able to 2 it KO. Which it easily does. Alright. Now as long as I don't miss with that 5% chance. There we go. Down goes Saturn for the second time already. Man, that was almost... That was more annoying than the Cyrus battle. Still pity the likes of you. Whatever, Saturn. Nah, I just want to let him suffer. Let's GT... Nah. They're not that cruel. What's Charon have to say about this? Oh, goody. So, by the sounds of it, we have to go to Mount Coronet next. The very peak of it at that. That's gonna be a fun adventure. Traveling through a gigantic... Basically the biggest cave in any Pokemon game, really. And what does this have to say before we take off? Whatever. We never got that item over there. Oh well. I don't really care enough to go back for it, so... This is gonna be fun, I'll... Yeah, I guess the easiest way to go on from here is to go to Mount Coronet from Orbrick City, because that's where I usually go. And that's the right way to go, we just have a lot of fucking HMs to bring along with us. Which sucks, because we're not going to be able to get into a PC or anything before the final battle with Team Galactic or anything. So that's going to suck. And now that I think about it, I might want to do something before we go to Mount Coronet anyway, so... Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we'll either be starting the adventure to the very peak of Mount Coronet, or do something else. I really don't know. So, I will see you guys then.